a very significant person in my life was diagnosed with a brain tumor in December of last year. Now she is in hospice, and for the last two months, I have been visiting with her as often as possible. Lately, I have noticed just how many of my stockpiled memories include footage of her. Some of these memories are of her telling me stories. Other recollections highlight the family photographs she and her husband have hanging in their home, and several more feature assorted goofy moments the two of us shared. Overall, it is one very long movie rolling in a continuous loop with an audio track that periodically shifts from sound to silent. This uneven sound quality matches the somewhat patchy condition of these experiences my brain has been replaying for close to 30 years. Memories, movies, and photographs freeze the people we see in them at specific points in their lifetimes. Some things exist or are used or enjoyed for only a short time. Certain paper items, such as posters, pamphlets, and tickets, were originally meant to be discarded after use, but have since become collectibles. Are memories, movies, and photographs also ephemera? I feel our memories are because we can lose our mental capacity of retaining and reviving such things as facts, events, and impressions. The period in the life of an actor featured in a movie or an instant in the life of a person featured in a photograph has been discarded by time. As a result, I also consider movies and photographs as ephemera. The only difference is that we never meant to discard how we see what we see in them. 